Is your retirement income solid or shaky? Consider the humble three-legged stool, which forms a solid sitting surface. In the past, retirement plans were developed by assuming that one-third of the income came from company pensions, one-third from Social Security, and the final third through personal savings. But what about now? Which leg would you guess is the shakiest? Many people might think that Social Security is the shakiest. After all, in 1935 when it was started, the average life expectancy for women was 63.9 years and the retirement age was 65. Therefore, it was assumed that most people would not collect Social Security and it was a fallback position for those who lived longer lives. Today, life expectancies have dramatically increased. If you are over the age of 65, there's a 50% chance that you'll reach the age of 86 and a 25% chance that you will survive to age 92. That means that if you take early retirement from Social Security, there's a one in four chance that you will be retired and drawing Social Security for 30 years. At the same time that life expectancies have increased, the number of workers to retirees has plummeted. The number of workers to retirees is now only 2.8 versus 159 in 1940. Will Social Security disappear? I'm no politician, but I would guess that Social Security will be here for the foreseeable future, albeit with adjustments. In my opinion, the shakiest leg of the stool is pensions. According to a recent survey, in 1998, 90% of Fortune 100 companies offered a pension to their retirees. However, by 2012, that number had flipped and only 11% of these companies offered pensions to new hires. The reason for the decline is simple. Pension plans are extremely expensive to fund due to longevity risk. Consider this case in point. This individual had the following health issues in his life. He suffered his first heart attack at the age of 34. At age 39, an on-the-job accident almost left him paralyzed. And for the next 13 years, he was addicted to painkillers. At the age of 56, he had another serious heart attack. He's also diabetic, has pulmonary fibrosis, and last but not least, has prostate cancer. With all these health issues, how long would you guess that he would live? age 65, maybe 70? Could he make it to 75? On March 16th, Jerry Lewis turned 90 years old. And this is why employers have turned to 401k plans. Regrettably, employees are the loser in this change. Instead of a professionally managed portfolio and income for life, their employers now furnish them with an 800 number and a PIN. The bad news is that with the decrease in ability to rely on employer-funded pensions, retirees are going to have to rely more and more on their personal savings to fund their retirement needs. Contact me today at 480-503-0050. Together, let's develop a plan to help provide retirement income that you cannot outlive. And click here to learn more about growth versus income investments. This has been a Loki production.